Praise the Lord, precious saints. Well, this very day, I'd like to do a warfare and deliverance prayers to come against every force of darkness that is coming against you, your home, your family, and everything that belongs to you. So let us start according to James 4, 7. It says, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. As you draw near to God, he will draw near to you. Heavenly Father, we submit to you. We submit to you today, God, and we resist the devil and command the devil and every spirit associated that has been connected to our spiritual warfare or our attacks to leave right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And according to Ephesians 6 verse 11 to 18, we put on the full armor of God right now. We put on the helmet of salvation. We put on the breastplate of righteousness. We put on the belt of truth. We put on the gospel shoes of peace. We hold a shield of faith. We have a sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. And we pray this, Lord Jesus, for it is written that you are faithful to protect us from the evil one if we will just stand upon your promises according to 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3. So we come before you, Heavenly Father. We bow in worship and praise before you today. We cover ourselves with the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ as our protection. We surrender ourselves completely and unreservedly in every area of our life to you today. We take a stand against all the workings of Satan that would hinder our prayer life. And we address ourselves only to the true and living God and refuse any involvement of Satan within our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Satan, we command you in the name of Jesus Christ to leave our presence with all of your demons. We bring the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ between us right now. Heavenly Father, we worship you and give you praise. And we recognize that you are worthy to receive all glory and honor and praise. We renew our allegiance to you and pray that the blessed Holy Spirit would enable us in this time of prayer. And that we are thankful, Heavenly Father, that you have loved us from eternity past and that you sent the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, into into the world to die as our substitute. And we are thankful that the Lord Jesus Christ came as our representative and that through him, you have completely forgiven us today. You have given us eternal life. You have given us the perfect righteousness of our Lord Jesus Christ so that we may be justified. And we are thankful that in Him you have made us complete and that you have offered yourself to us to be our daily help and strength. Heavenly Father, open our eyes that we might see how great you are and how complete your provision is for this day. And we thank you that the victory of our Lord Jesus Christ won for us on the cross in his resurrection has been given to us and that we are seated with the Lord Jesus Christ in heavenly places. We take our place with him in the heavenly places and recognize by faith that all wicked spirits and Satan himself are under our feet. And we declare that Therefore, that Satan and his wicked spirits are subject to us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we are thankful for the armor that you have provided. And we put on the girdle of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the sandals of peace, and the helmet of salvation. We lift up the shield of faith against all the fiery darts of the enemy. We take in our hand the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, and we choose to use your Word against all the forces of evil within our lives. We put on this armor and live and pray in complete dependence upon you, blessed 
said, Holy Spirit, we thank you. We are grateful, Heavenly Father, that the Lord Jesus Christ spoiled all principalities and powers and made a show of them openly and triumphed over them in himself. We claim all the victory for our life today and we reject all the insuations and the accusations and the temptations of Satan. We affirm that the word of God is true and we choose to live today in the light of God's word and we choose, Heavenly Father, to live in obedience to you and follow after you with all of our hearts. Open our eyes and show us the area of our life, Lord, that is not pleasing to you today. Work in us to cleanse us from all ground that would give Satan a foothold against us. We do in every way stand into all that it means to be adopted a child and we welcome all the ministry of the Holy Spirit within our lives by faith. In our dependence upon you, we put off this fleshly works of the old man and stand into all the victory of the crucifixion where the Lord Jesus Christ proved and provided cleansing from the old nature. We put on the new man and stand in all the victory of the resurrection and the provision that he has made for us to live above sin. Therefore, today, we put off all forms of selfishness and put on the new nature with its love. We put off all forms of fear and put on the new nature with its courage. We put off all forms of weakness and put on the new nature with its strength. We put off all forms of lust and put on the new nature with its righteousness, purity and honesty. And that we are trusting you to show us how to make this practical within our daily lives. In every way, we stand into the victory of the ascension and glorification of our Lord Jesus Christ, whereby all the principalities and powers were made subject to him. We claim our peace in Christ, victorious with him over all the enemies of our soul. Blessed Holy Spirit, we pray that you would fill us today. Come into our lives, break down every idol and cast out every foe. That we are thankful, Heavenly Father, for the expression of your will for our daily life as you have shown us in your word. And therefore, we claim all the will of God for us today. That we we are thankful that you have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That we are thankful that you have begotten us unto a living hope by the resurrection of your son Jesus Christ from the dead. And that we are thankful that you have made a provision so that today that we can be filled with the Spirit of God with love, joy and peace, with long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, with meekness, faithfulness and self-control within our lives. And we recognize that this is your will for us and therefore we reject and resist all the endeavors of Satan and his wicked spirits to rob us of the will of God. We refuse in this day to believe our feelings and we hold up the shield of faith against all the accusations and the distortions and the insuations that Satan would put in our mind and we claim the fullness of the will of God within our life today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we completely surrender ourselves to you, Heavenly Father, as a living sacrifice. And we choose not to be conformed to this world. We choose to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. And we pray that you would show us your will and enable us to walk in all the fullness of your will today. We are thankful Heavenly Father, that the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty in God for pulling down strongholds to the casting down of imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. 
and to bring every thought into obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, in our own life today, we tear down the strongholds of Satan and smash the plans of Satan that have been formed against us. We tear down the strongholds of Satan against our mind and we surrender today our minds to you. Blessed Holy Spirit, we affirm today, Heavenly Father, that you have not given us a spirit of fear but of power love and of a sound mind we break and smash the strongholds of satan formed against our emotions today and give our emotions to you we smash the strongholds of satan formed against our will today and we give our will to you and choose to make the right decisions of faith we smash the strongholds of satan formed against our body today we give our body to you recognizing that we are your temple and we rejoice in your mercy and your goodness. Heavenly Father, we pray that now and through this day that you would strengthen and enlighten us. Show us the way to come against all the forces of Satan that are hindering and tempting and lying and destroying distorting the truth within our lives. Enable us to be the kind of person that would please you in all our ways. Enable us to be aggressive in prayer and faith. Enable us to be aggressive mentally, to think about and to practice your word and to give you your rightful place within our hearts and within our lives. Again, we cover ourselves with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ, and we pray that you, blessed Holy Spirit, Spirit would bring about all the work of the crucifixion, all the work of the glorification, all the work of the Pentecost into our life today. And we surrender ourselves to you as we are sanctified, as we are justified. We refuse to be discouraged. You are the God of all hope. You have proven your power by resurrecting Jesus Christ from the dead and in claim in every way the victory over all satanic forces within our lives. And we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ with thanksgiving, knowing that you are with us today in Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to move over to the part of deliverance right now. And according to Proverbs 22 verse 10, it says, Cast out the scorner and contention shall go out. Ye strife and reproach shall cease. Read over the word of God daily within your life's precious saints. See, we must understand that there are spirits in the word of God and there are symptoms, they are manifestations to these ones written in scripture. So we're going to focus on the ones that are written in the scripture and we may mention the symptoms or the manifestations that will also take place within those spirits. But as I start to cast out these spirits from your life, I want you to be ready for the to leave also in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I thank you because according to your word, it says in 1 John 4, 3, it says that every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist. So today we come against the spirit of Antichrist that is coming against your life today in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of Antichrist, you will stand to the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ and you will manifest yourself right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, I command you, spirit of Antichrist, any area that you are manifesting or any symptoms within their life, you will come out of them now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I thank you as we come against the spirit of blind and dumb spirit right now, because according to Matthew 12 verse 22, then was brought unto him one possessed with a demon, blind and dumb. And he healed him insomuch that the blind and spirit both spoke 
and saw. We command right now any areas of manifestation or symptoms within anyone's life of a blind and dumb spirit. I command you right now, you will manifest yourself right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to manifest yourself right now and we cast you back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to come out of them and go back to the pit of hell now in the name of Jesus Christ. And right now we come against the spirit of bondage because according to Romans 8 verse 15, for you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry out, Abba Father. Heavenly Father, right now I come against the spirit of bondage within their life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every symptom, every manifestation, yes, you will manifest yourself right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of bondage, manifest yourself right now. Come out of them and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ right now. Heavenly Father, I thank you because as we move on to the spirit of divine nation, as according to Acts 16 verse 16, and it came to pass as they went to pray and a certain damsel possessed with the spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters much gain from soothsaying. I come against every symptom within each person's life where the spirit of the spirit of divination that has even come down through the family line right now and those that have opened themselves up to the occult in any shape or form I pray and declare right now that spirit of divination you will manifest yourself right now in the name of Jesus Christ you will manifest yourself right now you will manifest your right you will manifest yourself right now in the name of Jesus Christ and we cast you back into the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father, as we are now coming against the spirit of dumb and deaf spirit. We come against this spirit right now because according to Mark 9, verse 25, verse 26, it says, When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried, and and went with sore and came out of him. Heavenly Father, I pray every symptom of every deaf and dumb spirit operating within their life, you will manifest yourself right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you right now, manifest yourself right now, manifest yourself right now and come out of them and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, as we are coming against the spirit of error right now in the name name of Jesus Christ. And according to 1 John 4, 6, it says, We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth us not. Thereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. We come against this spirit of error that has been manifesting within their lives through whatever symptoms that have been causing them to go into error and not walk in truth. Heavenly Father, I bind that spirit of error right now in their lives right now. I bind that spirit of error right now in the name of Jesus. I command you to manifest yourself right now. Manifest yourself within them right now. Come out of them and go back to the pit of hell. Come out of them right now. Go back to the pit of hell right now with all your manifestations, with all your symptoms right now. You will come out of them right now and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, as we are now coming against the familiar spirit that is operating because according to your word, it says in 1 Samuel 28 verse 7, it says, Then said Saul unto his servant, Seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit, that I may go to her and inquire of her. Heavenly Father, right now we come against every familiar spirit that is operating in this person's life that is listening today in the name of Jesus Christ. Those that have come down through the generational line, those that have been opened up through anything that they have opened up 
to. Heavenly Father, I command that spirit of familiar spirit operating in their lives to manifest in every one of its symptoms to leave now and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Familiar spirit, come out of them and go back to the pit of hell right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, as we come against the spirit of fear right now because according to your word in 2 Timothy 1.7, it says, For God had not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. We command right now this spirit of fear and all of its symptoms that have been operating within that person's life to manifest themselves right now, to come out of them and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We command you to come out of them, go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank Thank you, Father, right now as we come against the spirit of haughtiness because according to Proverbs 16 verse 18 it says, Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall but better is it to be a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the pride. So today in the name of Jesus we come against the spirit of haughtiness right now, the spirit of pride right now, the spirit of haughtiness that is operating within this person's life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every symptom, you will manifest yourself right now within their life right now. I command you, devil, you will manifest yourself right now. You will come out of them and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father, as we're going to come against the spirit of heaviness that is operating within their life because according to Isaiah 61 verse 3 it says to appoint unto them that mount of Zion to give them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness we come against every symptom of the spirit of heaviness that is operating within this person's life right now that is listening I command that spirit of heaviness to manifest yourself right now operating in their life right now you will manifest yourself with all of your symptoms and you will come out of them and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to leave them now, leave them now, leave them now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, as we're coming against a spirit of infirmity operating in their life right now because according to the Word of God, it says in Luke 13, verse 11, and behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and was bowed down and could not even lift up herself or lift up her head. We come against this spirit of infirmity with every symptom, every symptom of sickness or disease that has been operating any tumor, any pain, any weakness, any hay fever allergies, any viruses, any influenza, any cancers, any congestion, any pneumonia, any heart trouble, any any diabetes, any high blood pressure, any blood diseases, any miscarriages, anything that's been operating in their life right now through the spirit of infirmity, you will manifest yourself right now. Every one of these symptoms and more that come under the umbrella, under the spirit of infirmity, you will manifest yourself right now. You will manifest yourself right now and come out of them and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of them now. 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 Go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, as we come against the spirit of jealousy. Because according to Numbers 5 verse 30, it says, Or when the spirit of jealousy cometh upon him, and he be jealous of his wife, and shall set the woman before the Lord, and the priest shall execute upon her all this law. We come against the spirit of jealousy and all of its symptoms that come within under this umbrella right now. You will manifest yourself right now with all of your symptoms right now. We command the spirit of jealousy. Stand to the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ. Stand to the 
attention of our Lord Jesus Christ. Stand to the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ. Manifest yourself, manifest yourself and come out of them and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, as we're going to come against the spirit of legion right now because according to Mark 5 verse 9, and when he asked him, what is your name? And he answered saying, my name is legion for we are many. Heavenly Father, I pray right now as we bind this spirit of legion, each symptom, each devil that is operating under this legion, under this umbrella right now, we come against you. Spirit of legion right now, we command you right now, each and every one of you, we bind you with a threefold cord according to Ecclesiastes 4.12. We bind you with a threefold cord right now and command you, each one of you, manifest yourself right now, manifest yourself right now, come out of them and go back to the pit of hell right now now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of them. Come out of them. Come out of them. Come out of them in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father, as we're going to come against the spirit of lying right now. Because according to 1 Kings 22 verses 21, it says, Now therefore, behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of these prophets, and the Lord hath spoken evil against thee. So we come against every lying spirit that is operating against their lives, within their lives, any symptoms that may be operating within their lives, that under that umbrella of a lying spirit, you will manifest yourself right now. You will manifest yourself right now. You will come under the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ. You will come out of them and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We command you, come out of them, come out of them, come out of them in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father, as we come against right now the party spirit. Because according to Galatians 5 verse 20 in the Amplified, it says that the works of the flesh, what are they? Adultery, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, and anger, ill temper, selfishness, divisions, dissensions, and a party spirit. We thank you right now that every single symptom, manifestation of this spirit, this party spirit that has been coming against the people to lead them into addictions, to lead them into things that are taking themselves away from God. I bind you right now, you party spirit that's operating within their life. I bind you with a threefold cord according to Ecclesiastes 4.12. I bind you right now, each and every one of these symptoms. You will come out of them and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of them now. Come out of them now. Come out of them now in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Father, as we're going to come against the perverse spirit. Because according to Isaiah 9 verse 14, the Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to error in every work thereof as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. We come against this spirit of perverseness, this perverse spirit that is operating within this person's life in what Ever symptom comes under the umbrella right now, you will manifest yourself right now. You spirit, your perverse spirit, manifest yourself right now, manifest yourself right now, manifest yourself right now, and come out of them right now and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, as we're going to come against the seducing spirit, because according to 1 Timothy 4 1, it says, now the Spirit speaketh expressively that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons. We come against every seducing spirit and every symptom that is manifesting within their person's life that is listening today. And that seducing spirit that has been operating within their life will manifest themselves right now and go back to the pit of hell 
right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of them. Come out of them. Come out of them. Go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, as we're coming against the spirit of deep slumber and sleep. Because according to Romans 11 verse 8, it says, For the Lord has poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and has closed your eyes. We command that spirit of deep slumber and sleep to every symptom that comes under this spirit right now. You will manifest yourself right now. Come out of them and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will manifest yourself. Come out of them. Go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray and believe. Amen. And we come and Father, we thank you for the spirit that we're going to come against right now, the spirit of whoredom. And according to Isaiah 4 verse 12, my people ask counsel at their stocks and their staff decreeth unto them for the spirit of whoredoms has called them to error and they have gone a whoring from under their God. We pray and we come against the spirit of whoredom that may be operating in every symptom that may come under that spirit, every symptom that manifests, whatever portion that has come down through the family line in any degree at all. We command right now, we command and bind that spirit of whoredom. We command and bind you right now in the name of Jesus. You will manifest yourself right now. You will manifest yourself right now. Come out of them. Go back to the pit of of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Heavenly Father, as we come against the spirit of wisdom of this world. Because according to James 3 verse 15, it says, This wisdom descends not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish, demonical. And we come against the spirit of wisdom of the world and every symptom that manifests under that umbrella of this spirit. We command you, you will manifest yourself right now. The spirit of wisdom of the world, manifest yourself right now. Manifest yourself right now. Manifest yourself right now and leave the and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray and believe. Amen. Come out of them. Come out of them. We thank you, Father, as we come against the spirit of this world because we know that we want to be adopted into Christ Jesus. Because the Bible says, according to 1 Corinthians 2 verse 12, now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. We come against this spirit of the world right now. We bind you with a threefold cord. We command you to manifest in every one of your symptoms right now. Manifest yourself right now. Manifest yourself right now and come out of them and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, fathers. We're coming against the three unclean spirits like frogs according to Revelation 16 verse 13. It says, and I saw three unclean spirits like frogs coming out of the mouth of the dragon out of the mouth of the false prophet for they are spirits of demons performing signs which go out to the kings of the earth and to the whole world to gather them to the battle on that great day of God Almighty. We come against that spirit right now. Those frog-like spirits, the three unclean frog-like spirits right now. We come against you. We bind you with a threefold cord. We command you and all of your symptoms to manifest right now within their lives right now. You will manifest right now. You will manifest right Right now and you will come out of them and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, Lord, that you have covered, you have delivered your people right now. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you that you would deliver them, forgive them and heal them and cover them with your precious blood right now. Fill them with your Holy Spirit from the top of their head to the holes, to the soles of their feet right now. Fill them, fill them, fill them, fill them, fill them right now. Fill them right now from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now with your Holy Spirit. Whatever void has been there, fill them with your Holy Spirit. Fill them with the fruits of your Spirit. Fill them with every area that is good and comes from you and everything that comes from heaven. We thank you and we give you all the praise and all the honor in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and believe. 
Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrowpath Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And I encourage you, if you've listened to this and you want to listen to it again, please do so. So I'm trying to bring out these prayers periodically so that God can continue to deliver you or for any spirit that is harassing your home. So take, you know, forward these to people that you know that are going through spiritual problems that need freedom in whatever areas. The devil's a liar. The devil comes to kill, steal and destroy. But Jesus came to give life and life in abundance. So if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, feel free. You can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Go to our free website, Repentance Revival. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you. Shalom, shalom, shalom.